it's time to talk about an ear full of madness. Uh, fucking love the title. Um, inspirations, One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest and The Shining, especially the intro credits being The Shining. Uh, guests, we had Mr. Bubbles, aka Zach Mutton, and uh, Lord Baron Goatee McGoat, aka oh, was Zach Dylan. the person you met on the train? No. Oh, a different Zach. Yes, different Zach. That was, uh, no, I know a lot of Zachs, but let's put it that way. Um, yeah, and so this episode I had in mind for a while because I was like, I need an episode that delves into psychology as a topic. Um, but I kind of wanted to make fun of psychology, but then I'm like, uh, maybe that's not a great idea, it's not really very original. Um, so instead I decided to go with, let's delve into the psychology of my character, of Mr. Mindless, and this dude that's been following him. Um, and of course I go through all these details, like all these events of this character dude that's been following me and whatever, and I showed footage of like the dream sequence and whatever to Zack and Dylan beforehand, and we're like, hey, let's go to a playground and shoot it there. And of course I had that jump cut from the playground slide to the chairs of my house, um, which is again meant to be a very kind of like, oh, two psychologists talking to me, like kind of an angel, an angel devil kind of thing. Um, and it was very fun to, to, to deal with those, uh, with those two. It was very, I mean, the whole thing again was improvised, but this had a very strong idea behind it. Um, and I think the other two did a very good job uh, with it. Um, and of course, the whole idea that being, us being in the playground was all in my mind. And then when they walk away, they turn around, they're in the masks, and it's like, oh my god, maybe they weren't real the whole time. And it's this, this big mind fuck kind of thing. And of course, I did buy a second mask. And I had a script, that, I had a script like that. I'm like, I need two masks. I'm like, fuck, where do I get a second mask? I went to Minotaur, they had masks there for like 10 bucks or something. It's like, oh, cool. Um, it was the same quality of the mask I already had, so I just bought it, and now I still have both of them. Um, that ended up helping me out later for the final fight scene. Um, and that was just a lot of fun to do. It was just just a fun episode to film. Uh, luckily the weather was still good outside. It's very hard to film outside sometimes. Um, and Zach and Dylan did great jobs in their roles. Um, especially that last scene, just so demented and whatever. And just me going like, what the fuck is going on? And of course it not cutting away and being like, it was all a dream or whatever. And it leaves you there hanging like, Shit, what does this mean? And of course, it's just this idea that, again, this dude might be in my mind, but he might actually be real. But of course, I have these events that say that there is something real about him or her, this, this essence, this villain, quote unquote. Um, yeah, that was pretty much the whole episode. I, I've mm. enjoyed filming it. And yeah, um, that's all for this episode. Uh, see you next time. Bye.